Welcome to Buckeye Readers Chat. My name is Patty. I'm Nicole. And we are here to celebrate summer reading program. It is yes, summer. Yes, it is. It's What's getting it? hotter. And... <laughs> it sure is. Yeah, it sure is. What's in your shirt there? So I have my Oceans of Possibilities summer reading program shirt. I have sea snakes. They're kind of okay. creepy looking, but I like that. Nice, nice. So. That pink is lovely on you. Yeah, thank you. Mine has penguins, oceans of possibilities. Yes, they're so sweet. And uh, I made some fringes along the bottom. Oh, I like it. it. Like you made it your own. Yeah. Legs. Oh, you yeah. are. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. good. That's good. So we are excited. Mm -hmm. um, but let's start with an ocean joke. Since it's oceans of possibilities. Yes. The possibilities are endless. Yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> so, why are there fish at the bottom of the sea? Because they can't live in the sky? Because they dropped out of school. <laughs> and if you don't come to summer reading program, <laughs> right? Yeah, this will help you stay in yeah, school. Yeah, yeah. And right now, I think the kids could use some fun and some reading, and so the library is the perfect place for that. It is. My kids always enjoyed it and mm -hmm. became great readers. Yeah. So what do you have there for the little ones? Um, so we have a kit specifically designed for zero to threes because we they don't need as much as the other kids do at this point. Um, but they have um, songs that you can do each week or however often you like. Um, and you have all the supplies you need to be able to do those super fun ocean themed songs. Um, you get a scarf and some bubbles. bubbles. Love bubbles. Um, it also includes um, a build curiosity with STEM. Um, uh, little card book here that has a lot of great information on different ways that you can engage with your uh, your little babies as they're growing, your toddlers as they're growing, right. um, and help build those early literacy skills so they can get to the point where they're able to read. Yeah. And um, how do you keep track of points? Um, so each kit has a game board on it, both in English and Spanish, with different activities that you can do with your children. Um, since again, they can't read by themselves, so there's different ways to help engage them in those literacy skills. Um, and they seem very simple, but they mean a lot. They're very powerful activities to do with your kids. So you have the baby kits are fantastic. What do you have, Patty? So this is for the older kids. We've got all kinds of crafts and information. Mm -hmm. I love this. Mm -hmm. It says the seven continents and five oceans check sheet. Yeah. So there's that. We have information. I think this has our calendar. Yeah, all the events um, you can come yes, to. Yes, both our downtown Buckeye Library and mm -hmm. at Coyote. Yeah. And then it comes with all the, oh, here's a game board as well for mm -hmm. the kids. Yeah, help keep track of their points. Yeah, and mm -hmm. it's got extra information, ways to make extra points, mm -hmm. um, and all the different uh, crayons and, and such that you parts. need yeah. yes, to make your crafts. So yeah. that's a lot of fun. That's for This is for June, and in July yeah. we're going to have another one, right? Yeah, yeah. Four more activities to do along with another free book in your July kit. So more kids and uh, more books in the hands of our kids. Yeah. So, um, what about adults? Adults? Yeah. Adults that like to read, adults that don't like to read, adults. It's just adults. Yeah. yeah. There's, there's all <laughs> kinds of opportunities. We can, and, and this is to encourage everybody to read. Yeah. Set, you help set a good example for your kids, mm -hmm. uh, for your grandkids by reading with them, to them, mm -hmm. or by yourself. And yeah. along the way, you get, there's prizes for everybody mm -hmm. on that 250, 500, 750, and 1,000. Yeah. And what do we get at 1,000 points? 1,000, you get a free book. But if you don't need another book and you don't want another book to add to your collection, um, you have the option of donating your book to the Arizona Head Start Association, which will then get a book into a classroom library to kids that really truly need them. So you could take that opportunity to read for a child yeah. this summer. That is that is really so, nice to do mm -hmm. that. Yeah. But what if you're a clam? A clan who doesn't want to give to charity. Mm, they don't sound like they'd give a, a book to a child. Why, why don't clams give to charity? I don't know. Because they're shellfish. <laughs> don't be shellfish. <laughs> Donate yeah. your book if you don't want it. Yeah. Read for a child this summer. It is good. So yeah, last is. but not least, what, what did the ocean say to the shore? I don't know. What did they say? It didn't say anything. It waved. And we'll we're going to wave. Yeah. Yep, we'll see you guys in here getting your books this summer and yeah. in the next video. Yep. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us. Bye.